problem going in and out of the terminals, things that uh, I guess I'll miss a few bites or bits, bits I guess, and it'll uh, become garbled and they have to pretty much start over. He, he was really unhappy with it. Yeah, well, it's true. You know, we call that packet loss, and uh, I experienced that on 440 DMR at times. Uh, I'm running a 25-watt mobile, and everywhere I go with a 6-inch quarter wave, I'm golden. I can I can talk into the repeater. Uh, as far east as uh, Terrell, as far west as um, Weatherford, as far north as Denton, and I've never tested it south, so that'll give you an idea. That's with 25 watts and a six-inch quarter wave. But there's no question about it that if you're uh, if you're on, if you're on an area like the airport here, uh, yeah, you'll experience some packet loss, <clears throat> and it garbles, or it just cuts out. You know, depending if you go down in a low area like below the terminals or something like that. I, I could see all this being a problem, and yeah, it is frustrating if 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 you're in his line of work. Yeah, that repeater is also up on top of a green building. Yeah, so it has a lot of height. You're absolutely correct. It, it's way up there. So, you know, both the 900 analog and the 440 DMR digital repeater are up on, um, they're up on the green building and um, the, the performance is totally, totally amazing. So that's what it's all about, Jim. You know, may, maybe the major repeater for the, for the for the airport police, maybe it doesn't, maybe it's not up on a high structure uh, maybe it's not up high enough, and that could uh, very well be what one of the one of the issues is. You're still holding it pretty good. Where are you at now? <clears throat> yeah, Jim, I'm over here at uh, right in the very center of DFW Airport now at the Traycon, at the Terminal Radar Approach Control here. And right in the center where the control tower is, I'm parked in the parking lot. And uh, I'm right in between the two hotels, if, if you know exactly where I'm talking. Okay, yeah, I'm over here on Camp Bowie, so I'm, I'm not far from the repeater at all. In fact, I could probably do low power. I'm just on a one and a half right now. <clears throat> well, Jim, it sounds good. It's doing a great job. Well, I'm going to get in here and see what uh, see what radar work I have this evening. I already know one or two things I have to do. And I get out of here at 11. I don't know if you're still up around 11 or not, but I get out at 11, and I, I usually put a call out on all the repeaters on my way home. Don't normally hear many people. And on the way home at night, I drive home via downtown. I go down 114 to 35, go through downtown, pop back up from the tunnel, and then uh, go up 75. I'm, I don't, I'm not going to pay for... Uh, for tolls when it's not necessary and 635 is still a mess these days so I can usually get home in an hour or less and well it's really not any further it's about two miles further <clears throat> but that's the story Jim and um, well I guess that's just the way it is so maybe I can catch you tonight who knows I don't know uh, but uh, thanks for uh, thanks for the QSO here and on 220 again and I'm glad to see that everything's starting to really pick up on the uh, on the band here with that, Jim, I'll say uh, have a good evening and uh, good afternoon, the rest of the day at work, if you will, and maybe we'll catch you this evening. Uh, you're, you're making a trip just fine. Matter of fact, I, I recorded this. I recorded this uh, some of this conversation, so I'll put it on YouTube as well when I can. Uh, KB0DBJ from AA5HL Mobile, DFW Airport. Okay, 73, Dave. 8A5HL, KB0DBJ.